Hey, what's up guys? It's Daniel here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to talk to you about what Level 2 is and go through a basic tutorial on how to use it when you are day trading on the Thinkorswim platform. Level 2 is a really important feature to have when you are day trading as it provides you with a lot of information about how many people are looking to buy or sell a particular stock. But before we get started, please hit the like button as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing as I post new videos each week about personal finance, day trading and general news. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first of all, let's bring up a stock in the charts here and let's choose Bank of America with the ticker code BAC and then we'll just zoom in here so you can see the chart. Now to open up level two on Think or Swim, you will need to go over to the right hand side of the screen here and click level two. And this will bring up the level two section down here that you can see in blue. So in my opinion, if you do have level two showing, it is worth having time and sales open as it will give you a lot more in-depth data. Basically, it shows you all the orders that are going through, whether they are buying or selling. It will also indicate how many shares are bought or sold at the exact time the order goes through. Now to open time and sales, just head over here to the right hand side of the screen to where it says time and sales and click. And you'll see here on the far right hand side of the screen, all of the orders that are currently going through. So you will notice that with all of the orders that are going through here, that there are a couple of different colors showing up. If the orders are coming through green, which you can see just here, it means that people are buying the stock above the bid price. And if the orders are coming through red, as you can see here, it means that people are selling into the bid. So now that we have both level two and time and sales open, you will get a lot more information and data about the stock you are trading, as it shows you how many orders there are for the buyers on the left-hand side just here, and how many orders there are for the sellers on the right-hand side just here. So this should make it a bit easier for you to determine whether there is a bullish or bearish sentiment in the stock you are trading. So for example, if you see that there are more orders on the bid side than the ask side, and there are a lot of green orders going through in the time and sales, this would indicate that there is a bullish trend in the stock. And if you see more orders on the ask side than the bid side over here, and if you see a lot of red orders going through on the time and sales, this would indicate that there is a bearish trend. Now, one important thing to keep in mind is that it is possible for people to hide their orders that they are trading. So you won't see their orders on level two. So don't rely 100% on level two because it's not perfect. So let's just do a quick recap of what I just talked about. Level two down here will basically show you the buyers and sellers that are trading stock that you are watching and time and sales over here will show you all of the orders that are going through in real time and if they're buying or selling. So next let's have a more detailed look into level two. So the first section we have here on the far left hand side of the screen that says EX stands for exchange and you will notice that it is located on both the bid side here on the left and the ask side here on the right. Now just below the EX sign here it shows you all of the different exchanges and the amount of orders that each exchange currently has. And you can see the different exchanges here NASDAQ, NYSE, EDGEX, BATS and many more. Now the next section which is just to the right is the bid and this section shows the buyers. So these are people with orders at predetermined prices who are willing to pay a certain amount for the stock. Now, if there are multiple orders at one price, it is because there are different exchanges with orders at the same price, which is the case in this instance. Now, moving to the right again, you'll see that it says BS, and this stands for bid size. Basically, this will show you how many buyers or sellers there are at a given price. Now, with the numbers here, if it shows one, this is equal to 100 shares. So, if it shows 12, this is 1,200 shares. If it shows 60, this would be 6,000 shares. And if it showed 100, that would be the equivalent of 10,000 shares. So when you come over to the right hand side of the screen here where it says ask, basically everything is the same except these are the sellers. So let's just do another quick recap of what I just explained. On the left hand side is the people buying or buyers of the stock. And on the right hand side, we have people selling or sellers of the stock. So next up, if there's any price difference between the bid and the ask, this is called the spread. Now this can vary quite a lot between different stocks. It is possible that sometimes there might just be a one cent spread, which is called a small spread. And that would be the case here. We have a bid price of 39.91 and an ask price of 39.92. So it's a one cent spread or a small spread. Alternatively, there may be instances where the spread is more than a dollar and this would be called a large spread. 
So generally speaking, if there is a small spread on the stock, it is likely that it has been actively traded and there is a fair amount of volume. And if there is a large spread, it is quite possible that the stock is trading on low volume and there may not be many people actively trading it. I personally like to trade stocks that have high volume and a small spread as it reduces the chance of large losses. So next up, I'll just show you what it looks like when I place an order at a certain price so you can see the order in level two. So let's go up to the price here and click once and then click buy and this screen will open up down below. Now you can choose how many shares you want just here on the left hand side. So let's press the plus button and choose 1000. Then let's go across to the price on the right hand side here and I'll choose a price that is lower than the current price. Just so you'll be able to see the order sitting in level two. Once you've selected the price, go to confirm and send, which is here and click that button. Then click send and now you can see here on level two my order is waiting to be filled down here at the bottom. So on the bid it has the price I chose which is $39.83 and the bid size which is how many shares I chose which is 1000 which shows up on here as 10. So along with my order sitting in level two you'll also see my order up here in the charts in green as it is a buy or a long trade. Now to cancel the order just simply click on the X on the tab here and it will cancel the order. So it is the same if I choose to sell or go shorten a stock. So once again, you go up to the price and click on the price and click sell. Then we come down to here on the left hand side and click the minus button to choose how many shares you want to sell and we will choose 1000 shares once again. Then we come back over to the price over here. This time I'm going to go above the price so you can see the order sitting in level two. We come across here to the green button that says confirm and send, then click send. And this will now show you my order here on level two at $40.10. And you'll notice up here on the charts that it is in red as it is a sell or a short order. And to cancel, it is exactly the same as before. Just click on the X here and it'll close out the order. So level two is a really useful tool to use when you are day trading as it can help you see a lot more information about what is actually going on with the stock that you are trading. It provides another way of seeing potential support and resistance levels in the stock. But always remember that this is not a guaranteed indicator of what the share price will do. One other thing to be aware of is that some traders will try to illegally manipulate the price of a stock by using a practice called spoofing. This is where a buyer or seller will place large orders with no intention of filling the actual order. And the idea of spoofing is that it can trick other investors into buying or selling a stock in the assumption that there are more buyers or sellers than there really are. So keep this in mind when reading level two as it does happen. So that's pretty much it. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions at all, please leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, please like, share and subscribe.